Missing the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Snacking with Ortega. I am your host of Extraordinary Magnitude, Ortega Latrobe. It's our 150th episode, and today we're doing something special. Today we're making homemade SpaghettiOs. That's right, homemade SpaghettiOs. Sure, it's probably way cheaper to go out and buy a can, but what the hell? I felt like doing something different. And SpaghettiOs is always one of my favorite things, and I like bringing my childhood back, and hey, Again, it's an experiment. Let's see what happens, eh? And here's what we need to put together this stovetop version of a pantry classic. Pasta rings, tomato sauce, tomato paste, some cheddar cheese, a little bit of milk, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, thyme, salt, a little butter, and a little bit of honey. First thing we're gonna do is start our sauce. Tomato sauce in the pan. Tomato paste in the pan. Add our seasonings and stir over a medium heat. Get that paste incorporated into the sauce. Get those herbs incorporated into the paste in the sauce. We're gonna let that come to a simmer and add the rest of our ingredients. Take a large pot, fill it with water, salt it, bring it to a boil. That sauce is getting a little bit of a bubble to it, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our milk, our cheese. Stir that together real good. We're gonna want that cheese to melt, and that milk and that cheese is gonna give us a more orangey color than we would have had. It gets us more to that traditional SpaghettiO look. Pasta's boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in. These rings won't take very long as they're very small and very thin. Back to the sauce. Just gonna keep stirring that so everything incorporates together. Cheese is good and melted, it's all worked in. So, Final step of the sauce, we're gonna add that butter in. Just gonna give it a little bit of a richness and give it a nice shine. Our sauce is ready to rock. I've taken it off the heat. Now let's check our pasta. Rock and roll. Right back to the pan. And sauce to the O's. And stir. <laughs> yeah! Orangey, baby! <laughs> Woo! You know, I bet this does come out about the same price-wise. That's about three cans worth right there, which would be about five bucks. Uh, 50 cents, $75.25. Dollar two twenty five. Yeah, this is about. This is actually about the same. As, but you know, cracking open a can and dumping it in a bowl and heating it's way easier than this. But what the fuck ever. I like to cook, so you know it's cool for me. You know, we've got it made. One more thing to do, and that's try it. Looks like a real thing, don't it? All right. <laughs> now, it's not exactly Franco American. Well, Campbell's bought it now, and they don't call it Franco. Well, they, I don't know. It's always going to be Franco American SpaghettiOs to me, man. Something went on, like a little flagstone on it. Still tastes the same, is all I know. Anyway, this isn't exactly like that. But it's a reasonable facsimile may not be Chef Boy RD, but it's better than Aldi, so whatever. Until you start doing that cost-effective thing again, then Aldi's gonna win out. Whatever, you yeah. know. Damn. Hmm. You know? It was just stupid enough to work, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, as this 150th episode wraps up, I'd like to, as always, thank all of you for stopping by the Hacienda and spending your time here with us. Extra special thanks to all of our subscribers. I look forward to the next 150. 
This has been Homemade SpaghettiOs. I've been Ortega Latrobe, and you've been snacking with Ortega. We're fucking prime time. Who the fuck are you?